looking good, Lynn. Shelly, what are you doing here? No need to feign surprise. Cowell sent a message saying you were looking for me. I'd be long gone otherwise. Well then, I'm very grateful that you stuck around. Well, it was the acclaimed and admired Lynn requesting my help. How could I refuse? However, I'm technically still on vacation, so if I have to work, how are you gonna make it up to me? Hmm. How about a VIP meal at Oasis? Well, the food over there is good, I'll grant you, but I still feel like... Ten meals. That should suffice for this month. Ha-ha! Then we have a deal! Alright, so tell me what you need me to do. These are two guests from District 9. They have a smart servant, Mia, with a damaged language module. We were hoping you could take a look. Oh? A District 9 smart servant? Where? Mia, don't you like strawberry cream donuts? What about delicious cake? Or sweet pear pudding? Chocolate rolls? <laughs> Chocolate rolls. Our little friend looks really happy. Miss Shelley, do you really think you can repair Mia? Oh, yes, the language module. I can certainly take a look, though I've never seen such a model as Mia before. Allow me to conduct an initial examination first. Shelley is an outstanding mechanic. Mia is in totally safe hands. You two can follow me to Archon Larson. Don't worry. Go do what you gotta do. Welcome to you both. I am Larson, Archon of District 7. Archon Elric has already informed us about Zeke. I've sent someone to investigate Miroria's travel logs, but there is no record of Zeke. If he really did come to the Vera region, he's most likely doing his best to stay under the radar. Larson, could Zeke be trapped in the Abyssin field? I've considered that myself. If it's true, I'm afraid. Abyss and Field? What is that, Larson? Some powerful Abyssins can generate an abnormal localized space-time around themselves. A field through which they can roam around in real space. If Zeke really is trapped in an Abyss and Field, our chances of finding him are slim to none. Follow me. 